holidays. If you're looking for the perfect holiday gift for the horror fan in your life, then this video is for you. In this video, I'm going to be talking about some of my favorite horror small businesses to shop from this holiday season. So let's get started, shall we? So I'm going to be splitting this up into categories, and the first category is apparel. The first business I want to highlight is horror decor. Horror decor sells handmade horror home decor. Some of my favorite stuff from them include their horror buddies and you have horror icon stuffed animals, Freddy Krueger, Jason Voorhees, and other memorable characters in horror. Along with the horror buddy pillows, they also have things from ornaments, they have special edition scents like this Amity Island scented Jaws candle, and they're currently offering their Krampus scented candle and so much more. Next up is Toxic Coffin. So their shop features unique horror designs with my personal favorite being their Rosemary's Baby Tea. And I just think that you can tell that a lot of love goes into these designs and also within the packaging itself. When I got my Rosemary's Baby Tea, it came with a birth announcement and it also included Rosemary's Baby pins and it just felt extra special in that way. The detail work of these shirts is really impressive and they have so many cool designs to choose from, unique designs that you might not find in other shops. Next up is Studio House Designs. So this is another rad clothing company. It's based in Philly. This shop has some really cool bundles, like they recently released their 2000s bundle, which included films like Jennifer's Body and The Ring. They also released a 90s bundle, which included The Faculty, and they had a J-Horror bundle, which included designs from Audition and other Japanese horror films. Their shirts just really feel retro and cool and they're unique colors. They're very col colorful which is something you don't find a lot in horror so I appreciate that. Next up is a Black Star Co. This is a Latina owned small horror shop that specializes in horror tees, pillows, bathing suits, and so much more. I just think these shirts are unique and they have a feminine touch to them which is really nice. Next category is books. So first up is Off Limits Press. This is a small indie publisher that I've really been impressed with lately and what I like about them is they sell bundles of their books so you can try out a few different books at an affordable price. Some of my favorites from them include the book Crossroads by Laurel Hightower. It's a really sad look at grief. It's a haunting read that I think a lot of people will really enjoy and if you love Lovecraft in horror, there is The Worm and His Kings by Haley Piper. There's just so much to choose from for horror readers and I think you should check them out. Next up is Night Worms. So this is a horror subscription box run by two female horror fans and moms and they curate a selection of books each month based on a new theme. And what I love about this box is that you'll get exclusive editions and books that you might have not have heard of elsewhere. They like to highlight some indie authors as well. And their packages also include goodies like tea and stickers and a bunch of other fun stuff. I've been really impressed with the packages so far. It feels like they can read my mind as to what books I want to read that month. And I just think it's it's worth it if you're a horror fan. It's like Christmas every time you get a new package. Next up is Valancourt Books. This is a small press based in Virginia that specializes in restoring old, outdated, and forgotten books. The most notable collection for me is their paperbacks from Hell collection. It's a limited collection of horror books from the 70s and 80s that are selected by Grady Hendrix and Will Erickson of Paperbacks from Hell. They're a really cool book that details all these awesome horror novels that have been forgotten. The next category is crafts. The first shop I'm going to highlight in this category is Ghost Girl Greeting. This is a horror and pop culture inspired gift company run by two ghouls. They have various mugs and wrapping paper and candles and lip balms and just all the necessities that you need in your life. I personally love their artwork because it's so unique and adorable. There's just a lot of love 
you can tell that goes into these products and I really adore them. Next up is Spook House Designs. So this is a small studio that sells custom made horror art prints that every horror fan would love to have on their wall. Some of the posters I think are gorgeous are their Michael Myers Returns poster and there's something in the fog art print. There's just a lot of detail and effort that goes into this artwork and it's they're just stunning. They're beautiful. Next up is Tales from the Stitch. This shop creates handmade posable little horror themed hoodoo dolls. Her shop has everything from Annabelle to Freddy Krueger to Jennifer's body and there's just so much work that goes into these dolls and they are so adorable. Next up is Conjured by Michelle which also focuses on crocheted dolls. So this is a small female owned shop that crafts crochet horror dolls, headbands, scarves, cup cozies, and so much more. These designs are super cute. It's just it makes you feel cozy when you have this stuff. This is the Freddy Krueger headband that is just it's so perfect and it's just so well crafted. The quality is great and I highly recommend them. Next up is the Little Spooky Shop. So this small shop focuses on earrings and they have several horror character earrings like their Michael Myers earrings, the pumpkin from the Silver Shamrock commercial in Halloween 3. They're just unique and perfectly crafted. Next is Two Ghouls Press. This two-person shop features illustrations and designs created by the two owners. This small shop has a variety of spooky crafts including pins, patches, candles, and so much more. Next is Grey Wick Lane. This small shop sells haunted home fragrance and body sprays. They currently have a Freddy Krueger themed one that is a peppermint mocha room spray and it's titled He Sees You When You're Sleeping. I just think it's so adorable and I'm sure the smell is to die for. And the last category for this video is coffee. I'm a huge coffee lover so any coffee related gifts that I can get on Christmas are just super appreciated. So first up is Dead Sled Coffee. Dead Sled Coffee has many horror themed collections and they have officially licensed coffee from people like Rob Zombie, Elvira, and Kane Hodder. And my personal favorite is the Vincent Price Pumpkin Spice Coffee. It's delicious. This coffee is so good and it just tastes so unique. It's not what you're gonna get at Dunkin Donuts or Starbucks and it just warms my cold dead heart. Other coffee companies to highlight are the Bones Coffee Company. Company. What I love about them is their unique packaging. They're so adorable and creepy and cute and they have a variety of coffee flavors for the horror fan in your life and seasonal flavors which is just perfect. And the last coffee company I want to highlight is Death Wish Coffee. Their coffee is strong. The name will tell you Death Wish Coffee is not for the faint of heart and they have cool spooky skull and crossbone packaging. You feel like you're living dangerously when you're drinking this coffee and it's good so it's a win-win and there you have it those are some of my favorite small horror businesses to shop for and I highly recommend them for the holiday season for the horror fan in your life now I know that I'm putting this video up a little late so you might not get all these gifts in time for Christmas but I highly recommend these shops all year long they're perfect for horror fans please let me know if there are any small shops that you think I should know about and that other people should shop from, I would love to know. And let me know if any of the shops I mentioned are some of your favorites. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you have a happy holiday season, and I will catch you next time. Bye.